He's had over his career a 483 slugging percentage at the minor league level. Got uh, everyone's attention last season. Still young though. That's the thing that you look at it from a positive. He's only 23 and missed this whole year. This is something that if it's done properly and he's 100%, he shouldn't have any long-term ramifications. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. One of baseball's emerging young sluggers is likely to miss the entire 2016 season as Yankees first baseman Greg Bird will undergo surgery on Tuesday to repair a torn labrum in his right shoulder. The 23-year-old's ailment is actually a reoccurrence of an injury from last May, which landed Bird on the disabled list for nearly a month while with the Yankees' double-A affiliate in Trenton, New Jersey. He returned to the field following a rest and rehab program but throughout the offseason, Bird's shoulder pain gradually returned during workouts. After he was called up to the majors in August, Bird eventually took over starting first baseman duties once Mark Teixeira went down with the season-ending injury. In 46 games, Bird produced an 871 OPS and slugged 11 home runs, which equates to 39 long balls over the course of 162 games. A notable trade took place this past weekend between a pair of National League clubs as the Diamondbacks acquired shortstop Gene Segura and reliever Tyler Wagner from the Brewers in exchange for starter Chase Anderson, infielder Aaron Hill, and a minor league prospect. Diamondbacks general manager Dave Stewart shared his thoughts on the five-player swap and where Segura and Wagner fit in with the new look ball club. I think we all had a, a little bit of discomfort in where we were offensively and um, had been seeking to add a little bit more offense if we could. You know, Gene Segura has been a, a, a pretty good offensive player in past. Um, he's an all-star and a very good uh, defender. Wagner um, adds depth to our rotation. Um, when we, you know, I knew Chase was going to have to be a part of the deal. My biggest concern uh, became where would we get pitching depth, starting pitching depth, and well, this, young, this young man put up uh, some great numbers uh, last year at AA. And finally, an innovative billboard in Kansas City is serving as a joyous reminder of what the Royals accomplished last season and what they hope to duplicate at the end of the 2016 campaign. Royals fans traveling the highways of Kansas City will now have their very own chance to be on the receiving end of a celebratory shower courtesy of World Series MVP Salvador Perez. The three-time All-Star and three-time Gold Glove catcher was all smiles upon seeing his image on the billboard and even pitched his own idea for a Twitter campaign. Just wait for the people can come in here and take a picture and, and post the picture on Instagram and just please, hashtag Salvia Splash, please. <laughs> For more on these stories and the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.